it is David the King Dave back at y'all again with some new information now what if I told you that the legendary iconic figure DJ screw might have had a snitch in his crew and never even knew Ooh, in the mood that's right ladies and gentlemen screwed up click member zero is catching backlash for violating the G code 101 no snitch policy after he snitched on his former band member and asshole by nature Trader Truth Let's take a look to see exactly what happened. An exclusive. We go one on one with a legendary Houston rapper who says he was ambushed and attacked over the weekend. That rapper is Zero. Zero called me and said it was time he shared his side of the story. That story involves another legendary Houston rapper. The situation that they're trying to paint, the narrative they paint, this shit is false. Now you said you were lured into an ambush. Who lured you? Do you know the people? Oh, of course I know. It's trade the truth. This is zero snitching. <laughs> got sucker punched, and then I got jumped. And not no seven on one situation. Wasn't no blindside ambush. That's not what this is. But do you recall Trey actually putting his hands on you? That's the only person that I did see put their hands on me. When the video comes on, this is his little brother, Jayton, he is. And the crazy thing, I'm watching all these blogs and everybody say some of the stuff they say when they don't know. It was, but in my opinion, everybody in the video, you know what I'm saying, is a culprit of this. Bullshit. Bullshit. Ah, that's that bullshit right there. You see these rats? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody sound the alarm. Zero is definitely in violation of snitching. Now here's the problem. Once the world sees you as a snitch, you lose all credibility. Now the animosity that's between Zero and Trader Truth all stems behind an incident involving Trader Truth's little brother Jayton and Zero, which resulted in Jayton being locked away for three years. Let's rewind and find out what happened. I ain't got no gun. You can you can search this motherfucker. He found something else. Not on me. With oh, the state troopers pulled us over, nigga, because your pussy ass was falling asleep while you was driving, my nigga. You know what I mean? And I was asleep the whole time, nigga. We all went some change away from Houston. And he found something else. And I was given an opportunity to tell the truth about what was found. Bullshit. Bullshit. I done drunk all my oil, nigga, down there before we left the age, nigga. I'm a Lean and enjoying my motherfucking high. You know what I'm saying? I just all of a sudden wake up, nigga. They got putting you in cuffs. The thing about it is, this guy was a young guy. And I don't think he was ever in a position like that before. And he was asked a question, I was asked a question. Oh, That's some bullshit. But you have to tell me, because my shit is on. You have to tell me that this is his. And I was like, you know, goddamn well, I can't do no shit like that. Oh, shit. Now, that's bullshit. I can tell you this though, I, Joseph McVeigh, I have an ounce of love. This is what I got right here. Bullshit. <laughs> Can't believe all that bullshit. Shit, nigga. I looked around, nigga, boom, nigga, your drink bottle right here next to me with no top on the hell, nigga. I down that shit, nigga. You know, I ain't rinsed the bottle out, nigga. By that time, another law man pulled up and took me out the motherfucking car, nigga. I'm thinking everything ain't smooth, nigga. We ain't got nothing but some bullshit weed. Alright, man. Sit back in the car. He made me put the weed back in my pocket, told me to get in the driver's seat and put the seatbelt on. Went around to the other side of the car and asked him, hey, I found this under your seat. What you got to say about it? He said, man, we real niggas. We ain't scared of no jail. Bullshit. 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 There is no way that's what they were searching for. Bullshit weed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he didn't left in the door. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, nigga, they pull out goddamn three soldiers, pulled up. That's what we went to the penitentiary for, nigga. That's how we got took down. One more question. I'm the only one that got charged with narcotics. Yes. Y'all stop snitching and stay tuned for my special guest that's here to drive my point home. 
one in 12 black men in poor neighborhoods is an active informant. You damn right, Mr. Police, man. I saw the whole thing. That means every party, every cookout, every wedding, probably has someone secretly working as an informant. It was. But in my opinion, everybody in the video, you know what I'm saying, is a culprit of this. Boy, if you don't get Hip Hop Alliance Magazine. <laughs>